What is going on YouTube? I'm finally back with another video. I just want to start off by saying Happy New Year to everyone since I haven't uploaded since before the New Year. So this is going to be the first video of the New Year. And before I jump into the Tahoe, I just want to say we are going to make some progress on the Infinity very soon. I have a lot that I've bought for it. We'll be back to that soon. But let's go ahead and get into what this video is actually about, which is going to be five more things for the tahoe that every tahoe owner should buy and i do get into that i want to say uh this is going to be part two so if you didn't see part one just check the first link in the description and it'll be there let's first start off by talking about the number one thing i think every tahoe especially in texas if you're in the dallas area needs which is going to be a kill switch now you might think that's a little bit crazy why would you want to kill switch? Well, Tahoe's in Texas especially are one of the most commonly stolen vehicles. Any GM 1500 from the early 2000s, late 90s, commonly stolen. One of the most stolen vehicles actually. So that's a huge problem with these. That's something I need to buy. These things get stolen all the time. So you m make sure you get some kind of kill switch. They have plenty of options for it pretty simple to set up that can just be one thing to prevent people from taking your tahoe silverado whatever you have so that's going to be the first thing on this list the second one is going to be under the hood so let me pop the hood so we can talk about that now that we have the hood open and this is moving around but now that we have the hood open let's talk about the second thing you will need eventually or it's just a good upgrade in my opinion which is going to be second battery as you can see over here i have one right here but there's also a slot right here that can hold a second battery and all you have to do is buy a tray on amazon remove this it bolts right up i apologize if there's any wind noise but that's all you really need so you can get all of that for you know and and wire to run wire from the alternator for probably around 50 to 100 bucks just that and then you just add the second battery to the price so with this second battery you're more than likely want to buy the exact same battery so that there's no confusion in your electrical system i have two batteries already um, i have one in the trunk for my system it's a small one which is why i have this big zero gauge wire running all the way back so kind of not sure if i'm going to move that up here or what i'm going to do but second battery is definitely something that you need that was something that was recommended in the last video that i really agreed with as well as the kill switch those are two that people commented in in the last video so thank y'all for adding your input those are two very important things the next thing that we're going to talk about as i get out of the wind the next thing on the list that i think every tahoe needs especially if you're towing mainly if you're towing it's going to be a brake controller um, these trucks with just a few miles are very capable of towing 5,000 plus pounds pretty easy probably closer to that 7,000 range if you have everything set up right most of the tahoes don't come with the greatest brakes especially from 2000 2006 they don't come with the greatest brakes to begin with so if you're not going to upgrade your brakes at least add a brake controller and buy a trailer with brakes i recommend doing both which that was something in the last video but stopping is important and especially if you have a trailer with brakes that means you're more than likely towing something heavy so trailer brakes or not trailer brakes a brake controller that pretty much controls everything to do with the trailer brakes and that's that so the next thing i'm gonna say is a set of gears and you might be like why would i say a set of gears and here is why um the tahoe has pretty much all tahoes unless you swapped it have 4l60s in them and for all my owners out there you know it's four of the longest gears you'll ever see in any vehicle i've never driven a vehicle with longer gears than a tahoe and it's kind of a good and bad thing um very few good things about having long gears but it's just not the most optimized thing if you're especially if you're towing um so 
reason you want a set of gears, which you can do your research on which one. Some of them come with different sets of gears. So please do your research on that. You can run a, a higher uh, differential gear, drastically help your acceleration, especially if you go with a bigger wheel and tire setup like I have, or if you're towing. It'll put a lot less load on the engine. It'll make it that much better. That's something that every Tahoe needs. If you have the lower gear ratio, probably want to look into that and i'm pretty sure everybody in the comments let me know what you think but i haven't done it to my truck but that's definitely on the list eventually the last thing that i'm going to recommend that every tahoe needs is at least at least a stage one cam and a camshaft in general um and i'll put a cam slash tune uh, five will be a cam plus a bonus slash tune the reason i say that is if you take all the mods you know the important ones off of my last video and add some of them with this one if you throw a camshaft on the one of these trucks it gives it more off the jump with the tune or you, you can just even tune the trucks they left so much out of this truck um, with the tuning from the factory that just the tune can pick you up a decent amount of power and torque but with the cams, you can get like a stage one truck cam from BTR or Sloppy, Sloppy Mechanic. You can get the Sloppy Mechanic stage one slash Elgin, whatever you want to call it. Just the stage one cam can get you 30, 40 horsepower to the wheels and 50 plus torque to the wheels with the tune. With for the cost of that, gains you're seeing, that can help you all around the board. Um, so if you get a cam, you may not have to buy the gears for the diff with the tune. Um, it'll probably give you enough to be able to do whatever you need. So as long as you have the right person tuning your truck, you shouldn't have any issues with that. So that's going to be my next five. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I might have missed one, but like my last video, y'all comment down below if I missed anything. Um, so that's that. And again, I hope y'all enjoyed this. We're back to making content. My time is very limited right now since... I'm working a lot, but we're getting back to the Tahoe. We're getting back to the Infinity. And my very next video, I will have a lot of information for my people that made this far. I'll have a lot of updates. A lot of updates for this car. I know I haven't pulled the engine yet, but this is about to get a whole lot of work done to it. So, um, I've bought like already a large majority of the parts to go ahead and do the swap. So a lot of them are here. I'm just waiting to clean up. Got a lot of changes that are about to be made to the actual shop itself. So once we get all that in order, we'll make a video on everything that I've bought, everything that I'm doing, and then we'll finally get to work pulling that out. But. Again, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If there's anything else, let me know in the comments. I really enjoyed seeing what y'all had to say in the last video because I even learned a lot from what, what y'all commented. So please comment any of your suggestions. If there is enough comments of things that I missed, I will make a part three to this video. So hope y'all enjoyed it. And all my Tahoe owners, I'll see y'all in the comments down below. And as always, y'all take it easy, and I will catch y'all on the next one.